What's up guys? Today I'm going to do my uh, little review on the Platinums I got right here, the Resilience Sounds Platinums versus my Sundown use that I used to have. So they're both really great subs, but they're kind of meant for two different purposes, if that makes sense. So the UV1s are really an SPL type sub. Uh, anybody who runs them will tell you they can do great numbers, and they will do great numbers. They're basically meant for 40 hertz and above. I'm not saying they can't play lows, because they did play lows very well with my build. But being that the FS was about 40, 42 hertz, that's what they excelled at. So if you did had an SPL vehicle, you know, I said I clamp I got a 166.1 out of those U's. And they did, they've been doing great. I haven't had an issue except the baskets. You know, on them UV1s, those baskets were breaking pretty easily, but I had a lot of bad baffle flex. But they're great subs. I would run them if you have any kind of like daily build. It's a very musical sub. But also if you want to get loud, you want to have an SPL build, I would definitely recommend those as well. So those are those are really great subs. Now on to the platinums. So these platinums FS is about 29, 30 hertz, which that means they basically excel at the lower frequencies. They do have a little bit more power handling, you know, 2000 watt RMS. Uh, of course, the U's can take a lot more power than 1500 watt RMS, but <clears throat> a lot of the times that's for burps. Not saying you can't play, you know, 3000 ish watts, but when I would start giving them rated power, they would start to get stinky after a song or two, and you'd have to kind of turn it down. Whereas so far, these Resilient Sounds Platinums, I haven't had to do that. Now, I haven't fully broken these in. I don't have another amp on it, don't have the best battery uh, supply on it yet so once we get all that dialed in I'm sure we'll have some great scores we also got a person helping us out fixing up some of the enclosure specs so we can get this dialed in perfectly I'm gonna do a video on that later this week but yeah guys so far the resilient sounds platinums are louder on the low so if you love lows you know 20 hertz low 30s these things are definitely monsters on less power right now I feel like it's a lot windier than to use but it do, they do have more X Max. These subs are have more X Max, and I mean overall they love the lows. Now these subs are about 60, 65 pounds a piece, so it was you can imagine it was very fun putting these in. Whereas the usual about 45 pounds. So just keep that in mind. Um, what else about it? So I'll talk about the wattage. Uh, it is similar in wattage, but these can probably handle more on demos. You know, 2,000 watt RMS. Should be no problem with these on demos. I said I have not fully broken these in, so I can't give you guys a full review. But hopefully in the next week or two, we're going to Ruckus and we're going to be giving out a lot of demos. And I'll be able to give you guys a full in-depth review of what I think about these Platinum 12s versus the UV1s. Right now, like I said, these are definitely, if you love, love lows, you know, if you got to build, you know, decently budget subs, in my opinion. But I would definitely run these. You know, if you were competing SPL or you just want a little daily driver thump, the UV1, I, I believe, is the way. Because these right here, I'm not saying that these are terrible subs because they're not. But I can definitely tell once I get about in the 40 hertz range, it starts dropping off just a little bit. It's not quite as loud as the U's were in the 40 hertz range. But it's still a great sub and they're definitely windy. So, yeah, guys, uh, it's basically my opinion on the U's versus the Resident Sons Platinums. Again, just to recap, if you want to play, if you want to do SPL, if you want like a little nice daily driver setup, I would do some U. I guess you can go to the UV2s now if you have the money. Those are great subs. And the Platinums, if you can find them on a deal, hey, they, do, they can do the same exact thing. And they're really good subs. They're just going to weigh a little bit more. And their FS is really low, so they do love the low notes. So, yeah, guys, that's my opinion on both of these so far. I, I love both of them. And we're only going to continue to get louder and louder. And stay tuned, guys. We're going to have some more comparison videos coming up soon. And we're going to have a whole demo list at Ruckus. I'll be at Ruckus uh, the 18th of November. It's going to be fun. Come out here if you're watching. I'm going to give out plenty of demos. And we're going to see how these Resilient Sounds Platinums hold up. Appreciate you guys.